Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you come to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us as your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have been renewed by the Paschal Remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our Heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, <clears throat> Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you who said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage and entertain and people entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants <clears throat> to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal the, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed all are all who take refuge, who take refuge in the Lord. In the Lord. 
He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them with his wrath. I have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are all who take, take refuge, refuge in the Lord. Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for, pos for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron hand rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed, Blessed are all who take, take refuge, refuge in the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man, once grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless one is born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The winds blow where it will, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In the first reading this morning from the Acts of the Apostles, we see Peter and John had been called in before the highest Jewish court, the Sanhedrin. And they were told not to preach about Jesus anymore. And Peter simply responded and said, Better for us to listen to God and to listen to us. And the members of the Sanhedrin realized they really had no reason to punish them, so they warned him very strictly and sternly not to talk about this name Jesus anymore, and they let him go. And uh, so Peter and John returned to a place where the rest of the disciples had gathered, and they were celebrating the fact that uh, God had been giving them the power to cure the crippled man. He was working among them, and uh, as they were praying, the uh, room, the building shook with joy or from the power of the Holy Spirit. How many of you have ever made a Christmas Encounter Christ weekend? So I was reading that, I was thinking of the fourth floor up in Norfolk, where so many people experienced the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Maybe the building didn't shake, but we certainly experienced the power of the Holy Spirit on that weekend 
where people gather together and spend the weekend in prayer and reflection. And uh, wow, it was a wonderful experience for many people. It was one of the high points of their, their life of Christ. Um, and the gospel today, Nicodemus and Jesus were having a talk late at night. Nicodemus was afraid to be seen in public with Jesus for fear of what his friends might say. But Jesus tells him that uh, he has to be reborn in the spirit. And the spirit is kind of like the wind. Um, you can't see the wind, but you certainly can experience the effects of the wind, especially in Nebraska this last few months. Uh, every day we could experience it. Uh, it has great power, and yet the wind itself is, um, is invisible. And so it is with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> to me, the greatest way to understand the Holy Spirit is through the voice of our conscience. Um, Jesus tells us the Spirit will remind us of everything that he himself has taught us. And so the Spirit always tells us when we're tempted to sin. If we give in to sin, uh, we experience the effects. Um, our mind is troubled. Uh, sometimes we're moved to envy or jealousy or uh, hatred or whatever. On the other hand, if we listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we're filled with peace and joy and a goodwill towards others and so on. The important thing for all of us is to listen to that inner voice, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit speaking through the voice of our conscience. And if we do, it will lead to a life of joy and happiness and peace. And uh, we will know that we're in the right pace and we're at peace with God and peace with one another. So the important thing for us is to always tune in to the voice of the Holy Spirit and listen to him. Jesus continues to pour his presence out among us. And if we do so, we will experience that inner peace and we'll be able to share that with others in a better way too. Today, as we celebrate the Eucharist, we thank Jesus for uh, sending the Spirit upon us. We ask him to help us always to be attuned to the voice of the Spirit and then to follow his promptings. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, during this Easter season each day, we give praise and thanks to you for sending your Son, Jesus, to be as our Savior. Through his death and resurrection, we have the hope of eternal life. Grant us this, Lord, and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, and for all prisoners of our sites of Omaha, they will recognize the call of discipleship and proclaim our love of Jesus to those around us. We pray to the Lord. For our parish family, as we look ahead <clears throat> to the future and make plans to build a parish center, that we may be guided by the Holy Spirit and work together to bring this project to completion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from Lord Jesus through serious sin, that during Lenten season, they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and turn back to him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that they may enjoy eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the priesthood, that vocation to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for rain throughout the growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and attention, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for the living and deceased of the Meisenberg and Vodava families. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. 
which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this season above all to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial, sacrificial victim who never dies, the lamb once slain, who lives now forever. Therefore, overcome in Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember also, Lord, your servants who are gathered here before you, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or the offered for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, and the hope of health and well-being, and paying homage to you, their eternal God, living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all the saints, we ask that through their merits, her prayers, and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count of them on the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks and praise, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> and therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who are those sinners who hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon to Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're already there, deny myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 168, At the Lamb's High Feast. <clears throat> At the Lamb's High Feast we sing, Praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide, flowing from his open side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast. Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheets his cord. Israel's hope triumphant go through the grave that drowns the fold. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed Pasco victim, Pasco bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. Easter triumph, Easter joy, sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, Souls new born, O Lord, in thee. 
Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto thee we raise. Risen Lord, all praise to thee, with the Spirit ever be. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Final hymn is number 652, River of Glory. <clears throat> River of glory, springs of our birth, flood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. Fountain of mercy, grace flowing free, streams of salvation, spilling with love from a tree. River of glory, springs of our birth, Flood of God's riches poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. Here there is haven, healing and health. Joy for the asking, love in abundance of wealth. River of glory, things of our birth, flood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are in the glory of God, bathed in the glory of God.
of God. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. 